Hi there. You know it's going to be another cold winter, so it's a good time to prepare your home. Here's a few Lowe's quick tips to help you protect your home from the elements and make it more energy efficient. So let's start with your plumbing. You know, oftentimes the first thing to fail are your outdoor faucets or the pipes that they're attached to. That's because this is where your pipes are most directly exposed to the outside cold. You see a standard faucet will usually freeze and rupture right here. But your Lowe's has a product called a silcock that just might be your answer. You see the valve in a silcock is located here, so it's not directly exposed to the outside elements. I'm going to show you how to replace your old faucet with this silcock made by SharkBite. It's super easy because the SharkBite connection works with CPVC, PEX, and copper without having to sweat or glue the connection. It comes in an 8 and a 12 inch length depending upon the thickness of your wall. So we're ready to cut the pipe. But first, turn off the water supply because you'll be disagreeably surprised if you don't. Now that the water supply is off, open the faucet and let whatever water might be left in the pipe drain out. Now up under the house, cut the pipe, but make sure you don't cut it too short. You can always come back later and trim it if you need to. Back outside and you remove the old faucet and slide the shark bite silcock into place. Fill the hole in the wall with a waterproof sealant and screw it all securely into the wall. Now back under the house, you're ready to make your connection. Just clean up the pipe in to remove any rough edges and with the shark bite depth gauge, make a mark on your pipe. Now insert the pipe into the shark bite connection all the way to your mark. Turn the water back on, check for leaks, and you're done. It's just that easy. Now if you want to take your pipes to the next level, you might want to consider insulating them with this foam tubing. Just cut it to the length that you need. You can use a utility knife or a pair of shears. And when you get to an elbow, you can get these great foam corners that make it super easy. Just split the tubing and wrap it around your pipes. And make sure you loosely wrap a little bit of duct tape around the insulation along the way to keep it secure. The insulation works best if it has a little bit of room to breathe. Now if your house is on a slab or you can't otherwise get to your plumbing, you can install a faucet cover that will insulate your faucet from direct exposure. Now before the cold comes and you get that heating bill that makes you choke, here's some quick and simple tips on how to seal your home. Check this out. You can do this with an incense stick or a candle. Just move it around the window slowly. Can you see that? That's a draft. Now add up all the drafts in your home around your windows and doors, and it's like having a big hole in your house where you're losing heat. The solution is quick and easy. With these items, you can make your home warmer and more energy efficient. Now weather stripping your windows is easy. Start by cleaning the ends of the sashes with a little soap and water and then wipe them down with rubbing alcohol to remove any remaining residue. Then cut your weather stripping to size and peel off the back and press it firmly into place. Repeat this on the top sash and then close and latch the window securely. Now for weather stripping your doors, just clean the door stops and apply the weather stripping top to bottom. This will help make your door close nice and tight and minimize any drafts. And you'd be surprised how much heat you lose from under your door. This foam cloth door weather strip just slides onto the bottom of your door to stop that draft. Now caulk around your window and door frames inside and out and make sure you use a waterproof caulk for outside. And for more insulation, you can get these window kits that are super easy to install and all you need is a hairdryer. Just cut the plastic sheet to size with a little extra. Now apply the tape around the window frame and stretch the plastic around the window and press into place. A quick blast with the hair dryer and a trim and you're done. It's probably a good time to change your HVAC filter so your furnace will run at maximum efficiency. And don't forget to change the directions of your ceiling fan to clockwise. This will help distribute the warm air throughout your house more evenly. So, keep yourself and your family warm this winter. Just ask the Red Vest at your Lowe's and they'll help you find these products and more to help you winterize your home and do it right.